Hello everybody, this is Garrett, and this is Everybody's Golf, World Tour Edition. Because everybody loves golf. Let's go watch the opening cutscene together. Now doesn't that look exciting? Looks pretty exciting to me. We could choose Active Golf, but we don't have a PlayStation Eye. So we're just not gonna do that. Hello there. We could do online, but there's one problem with the online mode of this game. It's no longer available. So instead, we're gonna do some single player. And we're just gonna make our way to become big in the golfing world and of course we start off as a junior golfer fortunately we are not the ones that are gonna have to do all the work around here because we got our little own golf cap that's gonna do all the golfing by himself he's fully dressed for the occasion and he's got some pretty cool stuff going on we could use a different club if we wanted to but i think this one has a little bit more oomph to it so we're just gonna grab our traditional shots. Look at that happy little cat right there. And let's get going. It's a great day for golf. The first hole, shuffle tumble cup. Average strokes, none. Cause no one's ever played golf before. Best hole, no one knows. There's only like three people actually playing this game right now. And we are one of them. Using the triangle key, we can triangulate the position of our wonderful little flag. But it's too far away to get any work done, so we're just going to try to land on the fairway. Toro prepares his shot by pressing the buttons, which makes sense. And he shoots it right onto the fairway. Truly a nice shot indeed. We might want to get an instant replay of that shot. Definitely worth it. It's a new record after all. The first golf shot anyone's ever done, while they were a cat. Man. I don't think anyone's ever shot that well before, and I don't think anyone ever will. According to the game, the flag's over there, but it's still a little bit too far away. So let's just try to get a little bit further forward, on the fairway. He grabs his club, does a little dance to get ready, and then fires, sort of in the right direction. Wouldn't call this a very nice shot because, well, it clearly landed in the rough. From the rough, you can't quite shoot as far. And we're on a slope terrain, so more than likely, our ball is already going to go to the left a little bit more than we want to. But fortunately, the wind is going to the right. So hopefully our golfing cat won't have any trouble hitting it from here. But more than likely, it's just going to vaguely land sort of, sort of close-ish to where it actually needs to be. He does our little dance, makes it to the club, gets down to nine. A nice shot has been made by our little golf cat. And actually landed not on the green at all. Because our little golf cat, little golf cat, is not a very good golfer at all. But that's fine, because we love it anyway. Let's see if we can chip it into the hole from here. But more than likely, it's just going to land 
sort of nearish to it, but we shall see. You can see the flag underneath the power bar, or above it rather, and that's roughly where we're going to need to hit there, little power thing. Possibly a little bit too much to the left right there, but wasn't quite a chip in in the end. Such a shame. He still has a lot to learn, but he's only a junior golfer after all. It slopes upwards. A slope to the right. Akadi tells us a whole bunch of information, which we can also see from those weird little lines which are going all over the place. It's a shame that they're going literally in every direction, but you said the slope to the right? So I'm just going to aim a little bit to the left. It's also going upwards because most of the lines are going down. And that's why we're just going to add a little bit more force to it than would otherwise be necessary. Let's see if this will do it. Beautiful. A perfect stroke to lend it. Way too close to the hole than it actually needed to be. I'm glad all these people are somehow nearby me telling me what to do. That may have been a bit too much for us. Our cat still has a lot to learn. Maybe he shouldn't have become a golfer in the end. But it's only his first hole. And he doesn't seem too uh, satisfied with his double bogey. But it's fine. He's 27. Out of a whole bunch of different names. Of people that most likely never existed. Mr. Pointy and Jack managed to get a par. Along with Victoria, Shaiban, and Shaiban. But let's see if maybe in the second hole, he will do a little bit better. This time, it's on a par 4 map, so hopefully we can score ourselves a birdie this time. Pressing the X button, we can add a little bit more force to our strike. And I think that's going to be necessary to land where we want it to be. Wouldn't want it to land in the bunker after all. It's a little bit too sandy for my taste. But I'm just going to try to get it as close as possible to the hole. Not really anywhere where I wanted it to be. Not really a nice shot. But the shot was on fire. Fire usually makes things land further away. And it still landed on the fairway. And we got 20 points. I don't know what points mean. But he squeaked a little bit just now. And that's probably good. The wind is slightly not in our favor. But if we shoot it roughly in this direction. As hard as we can. With some luck. It should go right in the hole from here. More than likely, though. It's barely even going to land on the green. Let's watch. Again, not a very nice shot from our golfing cat. He still has a lot to learn about golf, after all. But at least, it landed on the green for a change. And the game says it's a wonderful shot. And who wouldn't believe the game? It's downhill, so we don't have to use quite as much force as would otherwise be necessary. And since the lines are not moving all over the place this time, we can just sort of shoot like this, and it should be good. A wonderful birdie. As everyone knows, in golf you need to get a low score. So the less points we have at the end, the better. We just went from 27 to 3. Mr. Pointy still scoring pars all over the place, but I think he also still has a lot to learn. Third hole in the whole Shuffle Tombo Cup. Still, no one who's ever actually played the game at all. Our golf cart is being carried to the tee off. And hopefully, in this par 4 stage, we're only going to need two strikes, land ourselves an eagle, or shoot from here and get a hole in one. But that's physically impossible, so we're just going to shoot it. One, two, three, four. I'm glad our caddy's here to make noise, to distract our golfing cat from actually making the shot. But we got ourselves a nice shot right there. Our caddy runs after the ball with the speed of sound because she's superhuman. It is often good to have a superhuman caddy because otherwise our cat may feel a little bit out of place being a super cat and all. Standing over here, we won't need to hit it quite as hard. The wind is not really against us this time. And using our six iron, we should get it in the hole right here and score ourselves an eagle. A perfect shot. With way too much force. Our golfing cat should know better than this. But he doesn't. Because he's a cat. And that's why it landed in the rough. Instead. But our caddy has faith in us. Our caddy has faith. In a 
could be a birdie according to her. To right. And it's slope to the right, apparently. So we shouldn't apply too much force right now. Although it does go uphill afterwards. So maybe we should compensate for that too. And just sort of shoot where it needs to be according to our power meter. There we go. Our golf cat still has a lot to learn about golf. But he'll get there. Right now he's still a junior after all. We just need to shoot the ball. And believe in ourselves. And that's exactly what we did. A nice par. Nice par. It's not the worst I've ever seen in my entire life. It comes close. But it's not the worst. And we're getting closer on Mr. Pointy. Who somehow managed to go down a space. Because he has less points, I guess. Points are used as a tiebreaker in golf. That's a complete lie. And an error has occurred. And I have been signed out of PSN. But that won't make any difference. Because the online service doesn't work anyway. So we can just pretend that never happened at all. Instead, let's see if we can move our ball a little bit close to where we want it to be, but make sure it doesn't land in the bunker. We can see where the wind is pointing, but we cannot see if it's going to be a problem. So let's just shoot it, not in a tree. Very good. Our golfing cow has made a nice shot this day, and it's going exactly where we want it to be, which is not in a tree and not in the water. We got 20 points. And from here, it should be pretty easy to get a nice eagle. That's a complete lie once again, but there are some people running back and forth a lot, and they probably know what they're doing. And I believe in those people. And I'm just gonna shoot exactly where the flag is. Perfect. A nice shot. According to me. Not according to the game. But I think it was okay. A brilliant shot, in fact, according to the game. Now we got ourselves a chance for a birdie. It goes left, after all. But that should be fine, because we simply just shoot the ball. With our fate entrusted in our power meter. A beautiful shot for a beautiful cat. 200 points. 200 birds. 200 cats. First place for our golfing rookie. He may be a junior, but he's a senior in my heart. Again, a par four, because this game has a lot of par four maps at first. It starts off very slow that way. Not really sure why. I'm only a cat after all. Let's shoot the ball. Let's make sure it's on fire again this time. Our golfing cat is pretty happy about his achievement. I would also be pretty happy if I was a golfing cat. Not many cats are actually very good at holding a golf club, but our golfing cat knows what he's doing. Our golfing cat has promised that he can be as human as he needs to be. And I thought that was a little bit racist, but that's fine. It's his call. Our second stroke. Will it land in the hole for a change? Or will it be as useless as always? My guess is that he indeed will be useless, but we shall see. Another useless shot. Good job, Gotham Cat. A class shot indeed. Could be a birdie. It could be a birdie after all. It's downhill. And birdies are a slope to the right. kind of second best after all. Second best is pretty good. We simply have to worry about the slope to the right. And that's going downhill. So we simply shoot roughly over there. Our Gotham Cat is disappointed. But it's fine. Because he's in the Junior Cup. And everyone's bad. Arcadi didn't have a chance to speak that time. Because everyone was talking over him. Her. Who knows? No one really knows. I'm only a cat after all. Let's shoot the ball. A lot of force was used because it was uphill. Nice but we got ourselves a nice par. And our cat is looking like a smug little bastard. Which is a little bit strange really. Considering he did pretty bad there. A par 5 map. Par for the course for our little cat, if you know what I mean. Many people wish us luck, but our cat will simply channel his full fire powers after we look around the stage for a little while. It may be better to shoot in this direction, because it might be a little bit closer, but we have a lot of worrisome, worrisome trees to look out for. Let's see if our golfing cat has what it takes 
to be a golfing pro. He shoots the ball. Not quite. But maybe the fire in his heart will make the ball fly forward as far as it needs to. Which is not in the water. It's in the semi-rough. Which is a made-up term by people that don't exist. And there was a person with a Russian accent looking at our ball. Who doesn't know about this? But that's fine. She doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know anything. We just need to get our ball closer to where we need it to be. And that is in between those trees. In betwixt, if you will. Let us shoot the ball in roughly the right direction. Awful shot. But it's a good cat, so it's fine. It knocked off of the pathway and landed in the rough. And a weird chirping sound it can be heard in the distance. Apparently I have to keep my hand steady. The cat thinks to himself. But the cat remembers then his own cat ways. And simply does whatever he feels like instead. He has paws after all. He doesn't have hands. How is he even holding that golf club some people wonder? No one really knows. Except for our golfing cat. Sadly our golfing cat hit a tree that time. He should have known better. He's used to climbing trees after all. That's all he did back in Alabama where he was known as a golfing king. But sadly, his golfing prowess never made it far outside of the United States. He was only known as a dancer. He aims his shot, tries to put enough power into his shot. But alas, his aim is slightly off. Uses a little bit too much power, but it was a nice approach nonetheless. Let's see if he can get himself a nice par. It goes uphill a little bit, but that's fine, because we're cats. We're used to going up hills. Our golfing cat is quite smug once again, even though he could have totally chipped it in earlier. Fortunately, everyone that jumped into this tournament is really, really bad. Their ranks are shown by level, and even though some are level 4, they're all really bad. They should know better by now. Who knows what hole this is at this point. It's probably like hole 9 or something. And either way, we're going to win. Unless our golfing cat shows that he is a golfing loser. He sets his ball on fire, prepares to make the shot. Great balls of fire were not seen that day. But the ball went roughly in the right direction. That's all we needed. Nearly hitting to 240 yards. And apparently it's a new record. But again, that's just because no one actually plays golf. Except for cats. He aims his final shot, hoping that for once he can stop being a loser. Because the wind virtually does nothing in this game. Let's find out how he did. The ball goes roughly in the right direction. But as it roughly goes in the right direction, it also goes roughly in the rough. It lands on the green, but it might as well, might as well have landed no, in the water. The our caddy is patting him on the back. And our cat's like, what are you doing? Upwards. It slopes upwards. So most likely, we're not even strong enough to actually get the ball in the right location with this club. But we can't choose a different club. So we're just going to have to hope for the best and fire it at max velocity. It slopes very far to the right, but it's fine, because we're cats, and we don't care about slopes. Let's fire. Let's fire. Let's fire. There we go. A shot is made. And as expected, we don't actually have the physical power to putt like that. A smart cat would have switched to a different club but our cat's not very smart and simply was physically unable to do so. Now let him see if he can do what it takes. Blah, 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 blah. And the answer is yes. Another par. Some say that this golfing cat simply wanted a score of zero to show how bad everyone else was, including Antonio, who got three points. 
Some say he's just really bad. But to be fair, he might still get a minus one. Maybe this will finally be the hole in one he has always been longing for since the start of his golfing career. Or maybe he's going to continue being useless. Let's find out after this wonderful strike of golfy golf. Probably not. His heart says nice shot, but the ball says no, not at all. Not even remotely close. This is a par three. What do you think you're doing? The remaining distance is six and a half meters. And our caddy has faith in our cat companion. Could be a birdie. But no one else does. It because it slopes upwards. And our cat has the physical power of a snail. But let's see if he has what it takes to shoot the ball in the right direction for once in his life. And the answer is... Yes, he can. Nice, the birdie from the heavens has descended on our cat this day. And finally, he is a little bit more negative, whereas everyone else is completely useless. This is the last hole. The last hole. Our final chance for a hole in one. Will our cat take it? Or will he simply fail? Let's find out. More than likely, though, he's going to fail. The wind is in his favor. The shot is nice. Some say it's fabulous. But unfortunately, his aim was awful. A blind duck could have made a better shot. Some say it's downhill and a slope to the right. I say it's uphill and he should do what he wants. And that's exactly what he does. And our golfing cat knows that he should always listen to his heart instead, instead of listening to the caddy, who just claps mindlessly. The whole Shuffle Tombow Cup is finally over, and everyone cheered that day, including our golfing cat, who's standing on a box. As you can see, he is the only one that actually bothered to make it to the victory ceremony, because all those other people, they never existed. They're all lies hidden in our little cat brains, planted by the government. A minus two in our nine hole tournament, and our cat is looking smugly and happily, with an infinite amount of televisions in the background, showing him what's what. Some extra information about our game, but no one gives a crap. You might win an item here. We might win an item here, selecting one of these various question marks. And we got caddy hiring rights for Bonnie. Who knows what that means. But either way, our loyalty was not good enough for our caddy. Even though she says it was a good game, we were not loyal to our caddy. We were simply saving a lot of water. See you next time.